Hey everyone, today I'm going to share how you can create a product recommendation or preference quiz with Digio. And briefly, these are quizzes that you present to your website visitors where they answer a series of questions and then you can make personalized content or product recommendations. And these are a great way to build your email list because usually the way they're uh, done is that first you uh, ask a series of questions and before revealing the answer you ask for an email and it's a very low friction way to get an email address from somebody because they're curious about the response uh, that their uh, result the quiz result and it's also a great way to capture segmentation data by answering all these questions um, you can pass this data to your ESP and use it to segment your um, email list and it's a great way to increase sales by recommending uh, very tailored products. So there are various quiz builder software tools out there, but um, what Digio does is, is that it's a form builder that allows you to build any type of form, not just quizzes, so it's very, very flexible. And today I'm going to show you how you can use Digio to build a small quiz that recommends three different products based on um, the website visitor's response. So. With Digio, you can build a form that has up to four extra pages plus a thank you page. So that's already a pretty big form. And then you can link this form to other forms depending on the responses. So in this example I'm going to share, there's going to be this first, uh, a first form composed of a welcome page, uh, quiz questions, a couple of pages of quiz questions, and then um, an opt-in form where they can get where, where the visitor can submit their email address to uh, see the quiz result. And then there's going this main form is going to be linked to three different forms uh, linking to three different products on your website. So I'm going to show you how that looks right now. Um, here it is. Okay, so first I'm going to show you a preview of the form. So this is the first page of the form, of the first form. Um, the website visitor is prompted to take the, to the toy quiz and they're asked who is this toy for and they get to choose child aged 0 to 5 or 5 to 10. And then the next question asks them what type of toy are you looking for? They select that and then they're prompted to enter their email to get their personal st personalized toy recommendation. For the demo you don't have to enter your email but I'm just uh, showing you and then based on our answers we get recommended this uh, wooden toy this lift machine and then you click on shop now and it takes you directly to that product so as I said this um, quiz is composed of first a main form that has the, the questions and then three secondary forms depending on the qu uh, responses so this main form on the main page, I'm just uh, the, the first page. We're just uh, prompting them to start taking the quiz, so there's not too much going on there. But you can make it. Um, I want to show you a little bit some of the stuff you can do with Digio. You can adjust the dimensions. You can make it responsive so it looks great on any device, and uh, you can add in any background. Basically, you can make it look exactly to, to match your brand exactly. So that's the main page. And then we have the extra page one, which is the second page in the quiz. And here they're asked, who is this toy for? And this is where it starts to get interesting. So here we're adding, we're using a form with, um, uh, with check boxes, two check boxes, one with child age zero to five and the other child ages five to 10. And I'll show you if, um, the checkbox for ages zero to five is checked, we can set it up so that it passes this data through an integration to your ESP directly. So you can capture that data. And you, you can set the form values for the, tr for the checked and the unchecked to true or false or whatever values you want. But basically, it, it, um, Digio will pass the form results to your ESP seamlessly. So that's the first question. And then um, when, yeah, once, this form is, uh, when, once this form is submitted by clicking on next question, then we go to page two. And on page two, 
uh, we have three options for the types of toys that they might be interested in, plush toys, wooden toys, and educational toys. And here, depending on which button they click on, they get directed to the, se the, the, the second light box um, in the series. So if they click on plush toys, they get clicked to uh, the light box where they are presented with a plush toy recommendation. If they click on wooden toys, then they get presented to the wooden toys recommendation, etc. And I wanted to show you also that um, one of the nice things about Digio, here we go, is that you can just copy the design settings from page to page so you don't need to keep restarting your design over and over again. So once we click on plush toys, let's say, I'm going to show you what that lightbox series would look like by going over here. There we go, conditional quiz A. There. This is um, one of the three sec uh, conditional light boxes, what, what I called conditional light boxes, which is depending on the response that you put in the first light box. So here, first they're prompted to enter their email address, and then based on that, once they click on see my results, they get uh, directed to the second page, where they will be, where that you display the product that you want them to see based on their responses, and they can click on the link to actually go and purchase that on your website. So that's Lightbox A, and then there's also Lightbox B, which has the second result here. Again, wooden toy camera. So that's the second one based on their, if they're interested in wooden toys. And then Lightbox C, which will show them the lift machine recommendation if they're based on edu if they're interested in educational toys. So by combining um, different light boxes and adding extra pages, you have incredible flexibility to create any quiz that you want and you can also um, pass this, uh, pass the data that you collect directly to your ESP or any other uh, marketing software that you're using so that you can segment your website visitors easily. If you have any questions about um, preference quizzes or product recommendation quizzes or just in general about building forms with Digio, please um, come find us at digio.com slash e-commerce personalization software and you can also see all our other e-commerce features and we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you.